Hi folks, I don't know if you remember me doing this one. It's of the, my version of the River Parrot. I've got the photographs somewhere. Uh, it's uh, in the Somerset Levels and we went there a couple of years ago to stay with friends. He has since died, well he died a year ago now. Uh, and it was uh, around about February, so this, just before this, the leaves were coming on the trees. But I wanted to do another version of this, and I'll work from this photograph. Um, there are quite a few bushes along the edge here, which I left out. But we'll see what we make of it. I, I like working for my own, my own paintings, because that way they're totally original. I'm thinking of doing a three, three or four part of a Patreon. I'll let you know, but I'm, I might do an impressionist Venice or Venetian backwater from reference material that I I crewed in 1990s when I did about 80 Venice paintings for a gallery. Some were good, some weren't so good, but it was a good year and I learnt an awful lot. Right, okay, I'll just put that up where I can see it, just as an aid memoir. Uh, my palette is still a little bit dirty, I'll give it a bit of a wipe, but I've just done one for Patreon and this one's for you. Uh, I've added, I've got nine colours on here now, plus the uh, white gouache. But oh, you just put that up when I need it. Okay, so fairly clean. Good start. I've got, I've got the cadmium yellow pale back there. So we've got raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna, cadmium yellow pale, cadmium yellow medium, that I love. Raw sienna, alizarin crimson, which I very rarely use. Uh, the light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, and Payne's grey. I don't often use the burnt umber either. My main colours are the burnt sienna, the, one of the yellows, raw sienna, a bit of red, and the the uh, blue. I'm going to use a new hake sent to me by Glenn, subscriber to YouTube. Uh, he kindly sent it to me from Hawaii, from, from Hawaii to London. Uh, very nice of him, in, in appreciation for all the work, that, or all the inspiration that he's had for my stuff. So he's not a great lover of the Ron Ransom Hake, he likes the, he prefers the, um, the Frank Clark, which I use as well, and I shall probably use it in this one. Right, okay, this is the Saunders, uh, Rough, Saunders Waterford Rough, 90 pound, very lightweight but heavy in quality, believe you me. We would normally be riding our bikes, us old men, along the River Wandle, uh, but the weather has turned, we've had some lovely weather lately for, for March, late March, uh, and it's gone from yesterday, Monday yesterday, yes, it was a nice day yesterday, but Sunday it was quite warm, Saturday was quite warm, in the 60s, now it's dropped back into the below 10, and a lot of rain now. Okay, so I'll do, do my usual uh, sky, nice bit of raw sienna, more water, uh, there we go, just, just to stroke it in, and we'll do a nice bit of blue in there. Not heavy, like that, that's a bit too heavy. But anyway, we've got it somewhere to use it. And we put a nice, just have a bit of Payne's grain with that. Got a nice bit of a uh, bit in the river. Okay, that, that will. Uh, all uh, light and blend in. I'm going to be using my hairdryer because that, that's my sky. I'll just reclip, just stretch it, then I'll dry it. I'll give you plenty of warning. I, I was starting to uh, edit the uh, hairdryer out, but it takes so long to then to, to, to download to YouTube once it's uh, edited, so 
Well, then it's only a, a Windows Movie Maker. It's not a professional setup. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to join now. So take your headphones off or mute your sound or wind forward. Go. Right, okay, you can, thumbs up, there you go, done. Right, I'm going to do what I did the last painting, I'm going to uh, put in some background trees in Payne's Grey and Ultramarine, while well, I've got it on the palette. So just to give a bit of a, uh, bit of distance. So I just put a bit too much water in that, that blue. Look, it's sort of flowing, running all over the place. Just have to just mop it up a bit. Okay, that'll do. Carry on. Try and keep my horizon horizontal. It's a lovely little brush this half it. It's a one inch, uh, more, more, maybe a bit more than one inch. Ron Anson Pro Art, medium height, lovely brush for this. Okay, so there we are. So that's that. Now we're putting some uh, some other trees over that. So let's try a bit of that, lemon, that yellow, see what we can come up with. This is sort of a bluey green. Oh, uh, let's just. Oh, it's got a bit of darker stuff over there. I'm hoping to get a bit more air, air in that. Right, and that's just some burnt sienna now. An ultramarine. A bit of that yellow. If you're painting over wet paint, you need thick, thick stuff. Oh, just a little tube consistency there. Burnt sienna. Because it'll just disappear into the uh, the wet paint, but you want it to stick. Uh, I'll get some paints grey and that blue, nice thick, thick stuff in there. Shadow in there. The paint's grey. Really good dark. I will have these trees just. Coming in there. Uh, 
Well, it's a bit dark in there now. Blue Sienna Plains. This paper is not great for scraping out, it will scrape out, but it's not like the cheaper Fabriano studio paper, which lifts out a lot. Right, let's uh, we'll try it. All adds to the uh, overall effect. But there comes a stage where it won't it'll just run back, the paint will run back into the, the grooves. Okay, that just just a show. Now we want some light on the horizon. So back to the large hake. So a bit of a, that yellow and a bit of burnt sienna. And a touch of a touch of blue. For a little sort of a nice greeny colour. I think that's why I stopped using it. It's not a, a very attractive yellow. No. I'm just putting some colour along this sort of edge. The river will go disappear around the back there somewhere. Using the just the ultramarine and the, that yellow, a bit of a shadowy, more shadowy green. Just varying the uh, greens around that field. Bit the other side now. Not sure which way the river went around there. Dark. It's quite a bit of pain. Right, I want the uh, small lake now. So I want to just get stroke up some some shadowy colours in here where that bank is.
my radio on. It's very low volume. Yeah, I've got so much fresh paint there, it's, it's sort of getting everywhere. You know what I mean about the, the thick paint you need, otherwise it'll just disappear into the background. Touch of water in there. What about the silence? Concentrating. I like my radio on when I'm working. I usually uh, listen on headphones, but I've got it behind me, turned right down, so it's on my phone, digital. Okay, coming on. How's that looking? Just a little bit of detail in this. Uh, The darkish grasses. Now, I'm not quite in love with that yellow. It's silhouette. Paint's grey. Oh, it's rough, this is a rough, rough pasture. All this stuff, I might put a few sheep in at the end. Mm, that looks great. I'll do just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to darken that horizon now, so it shows up against the uh, against the, the lighter field. So paint's grey. Big burst in there. Okay, let's just get that in there. Because the sun is coming from. Strongly from behind. Gives another plane to it. Scratch out again a bit. Shapes of 
don't like. Okay. I'll have to give it a bit of a try in a minute. Uh, I think we could probably put in a bit of um, bit of that tree shadow. put some white ripples in. That is just there just to reflect some of that tree behind. That, that's damp. I'm going to dry that now. To find the picture it's vanished. Okay, right, headphones off, mute your sound, fast forward. Okay, ready, go. Okay, all done. Right, let's do a few little sheep. Find a sheep brush. And some white grush, or off white grush. Right, let's put in little dogs. And Clark's uh, carrots. Well, they just about show up, I think. It's a little bit damp. Bit of detail now in the trees. We we'll come back to the lower down stuff. Okay. Get that coming out of the. Uh,
Always good to have some branches coming down as well as up. Okay, that'll do for that. Uh, I think we should put another tree in. Uh, Okay, well that is nice and colour. Right, let's do a bit of bit of detail in the uh, Okay, um, probably gone the wrong colour with that. I tried for sort of spring greens. I'm just going to dry, dry off that. So headphones off, usual pack drill. There we go. Okay, all done. Just had a, a security going on my, my tablet here. It's a Windows tablet, a vast. Um, uh, is somebody spying on me? Well, I've got uh, little windows over my, slidey windows over my, my spy holes, and I keep them closed. That's all. Right. And I don't use it for, for photographing the tablet. Right, let's. Uh, more blue in that mix now slightly. It's a bit cooler so I'm gonna just just a just a hint of stuff. This is my half inch brush with a bit of, bit of gouache. Uh, if I can squeeze some out. Alan Owen sent me this three quarter inch brush. I don't know a lot of you watch his channel because he's a, he's a great friend of mine. As his smoothie, John. And Stephen Cronin, right, we have email contacts, we both like football, so we sometimes compare notes. Don't know if this adds or detracts. I think I just overdid the uh, blue there. Should be green, really. Right, I'm going to let that go. 
apart from just a little bit of gouache. Just a few little bits of dead wood. Okay, put a put a a uh, Somerset level bird in or two. It's all raining. Birds are always good when you've got a blob. Okay, I'll sign it and I'll put a, uh, I'll put a mount on it. Just about to see that. Okay. That's two paintings done today. I didn't do any yesterday. Uh, didn't have a lazy day, but uh, it turned into one. Right, there we go. Right, so by making that darker, it makes that look lighter. So I quite, quite like that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.